It would be a loss of a historic structure. We're on the uh, National Registry of Historic Places. Abel Bates is helping to lead efforts in Raymond to ensure this historic structure is not lost. The boyhood home of Nathaniel Hawthorne, the famed author, lived here from 1813 to 1825, well before writing such classics as The Scarlet Letter and House of Seven Gables. His early childhood was spent here, you know, canoeing on Thomas Pond and on Sebago and running around in the woods and having a good time. Known locally as the Hawthorne House, history shows that over the decades since the family moved out, it's been a tavern a stagecoach stop, a church and meeting house. It was 1921 when the Hawthorne Community Association formed to preserve it. But even so, it is now seriously showing its age. And we're at the point where if we don't do something on it pretty soon, we're gonna start seeing some real serious structural damage in the walls. With significant work needed, the Hawthorne Association has launched a $75,000 fundraising campaign. Among the array of repairs needed, the foundation, siding, and roof. There aren't many like it. I mean, Hawthorne was, uh, you know, a well-noted author. Uh, he was a classmate of presidents, and, you know, they, it's, it, it, would be a, it would be a real loss. It would be a loss to the community. Though Hawthorne never returned to this community, Bate says his early days spent scouting the local lakes and woods are well documented, often speaking of those memorable days of growing up in Raymond, Maine. But he did write about it and, and said this is one of the best times of his life, the time that he spent here.